<laughs> I love it, Jen. And recording is on. All right. Hey, everybody. Happy Sunday night. It has been one of the craziest weeks ever. Like how many more insane things could have happened or could we have fit? Actually, I don't want to say that. We could have, it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> Um, but I know there's so much going on right now. Um, so thank you for taking the time for your, and still prioritizing your business and being on this call tonight. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Um, so as you know, we have our um, 10 rounds launch tomorrow. Um, but we want to talk about like how to navigate your business while this COVID-19, just everything is going on. And it seems, it can feel easily so like, I feel all the emotions, I'm stressed, I'm worried about the future, I don't know what I'm gonna do at home all day, I don't know about my job, I don't like all of the things. And it's so easy to just like pull back and do nothing. And obviously we don't wanna do that. So think about like on social media, anything that you say about anything beyond this virus, even anything that you say is going to be a reflection of your brand, who you are. So I encourage you all to avoid being reactive to any news or um, being super upset about some news that you hear or whatever, um, while still addressing it and giving it helpful tips. I actually find when there's, when there's like, um, big like global national news that affects everybody that happens to everybody that affects everyone it's almost weird to not address it at all but be mindful what you what you say about it you want it to be a reflection of who you are who you really are as a person and we as coaches it's to what we do on our team we get to be the light and be um uh I don't want to necessarily say security, but be like a stable person on people's, in people's lives and on their social media. Um, and if you're sharing your journey about being, becoming your best self, working on your personal um, growth journey, you're going to be somebody that people look to, to see how you're handling it, how you're reacting to it. Because most people, I would say most people in everyone's lives are like, there's so many people that are just like going crazy right now. Um, and whatever you put out there, you're going to attract right back to you. So if you're somebody who's really like, I'm just going to take this time to complain about it. I'm, um, you know, really upset about X, Y, and Z. You're going to attract like people who are positive people in general, aren't going to be into you. And the people who like people who complain, are going to be really drawn to you. So just be mindful with what you're sharing um, about the virus on your social media and how you're talking about it. Um, now, also be very mindful about coming, coming off opportunistic. We never want to come across like, oh my gosh, here's an opportunity for me to capitalize and grow my business even more by taking advantage of this virus like so many there are so many people that are really hurting right now who are worried about their jobs worried about their income worried about their health who have high-risk family members that they live with all of those things right we don't want to come across like we're trying to capitalize on their misfortune or on their stress so Instead of going about, you know, sharing on your social media, like, here's how you can avoid, you know, avoid the coronavirus by taking care of your health and getting in better shape and drinking Shakeology because it has healing powers. Like, that's so icky and gross, especially right now. Really think about your long game right now rather than the short game of like, oh, I want to make this sale off of this person. Really think like, what value can I offer our community, whether that's online and in person and just the people that you know in real life? Um, what can I offer them to help them feel better, whether that's like mentally and or physically? 
Um, but people, like I said, people will watch how you carry yourself and people want to do business and want to do life with the people that they look up to. Uh, and whenever we get like really kind of like salesy sounding, um, and by salesy, I mean, whenever you're not really sharing the value, and I'm not talking about the value of like the price and what comes in challenge packs and everything, but when you're not sharing the, um, the why behind what you're, what you're sharing about, um, that comes and you're just sharing like price that come that comes across as salesy and no one's going to want to do that and be a part of your team anyway, right? Because I think that was a fear that a lot of us have. Um, so in your social media, create, think about creating content and posts that are helpful to people right now. Share what you're doing to prepare and get through this. If you, you know, share about with your workouts, like how they help, you know, ground or balance you and help, you know, you dedicate some time to yourself, even though your kids are home, or if you're somebody who, um, if you're a mom who's figured out how to entertain your kids, share about that with, for other moms who are like all of a sudden like home with all of their kids indefinitely. Um, if you know like great tips for how to avoid eating everything that's snacking on everything that's in your pantry right now, or how to make a healthy meal with the most random things that you could find at the grocery store because that's all that's left, share those things and focus on giving value and serving your audience rather than selling to them. Like what this post that I'm gonna share today, how will it serve my people? Not how will it serve myself, not how can I sell to them, but how can it provide value in their life? And it's okay to pivot or pause on your marketing plan. I know if you're in, on my team, like we had our meal, our, I said meal plan, our marketing plan, like set for the month. And now we're like, oh, okay, now it may not be an appropriate time to talk about that. Like, let me just shift a little bit. And I can still talk about some of my pain point posts for my health and fitness and my coaching journey. And then maybe the value I'm going to be sharing is a little bit different. I'm not going to talk about how to juggle working out in a really busy schedule right now because most people don't have a really busy schedule because they're at home, right? So don't go radio silent, but pivot and re, you know, re-look at what you're doing for the week in terms of your content. And it's okay to take it day by day, but do still schedule in that time to work on your business. And that time that you're scheduling in needs to be focused on how can I serve my community? How can I serve the existing clients and customers and coaches I already have? And um, the people on social media and my friends and family, my email list, all of those things. You can also use this time to create, use your, you can use your business time this week to create the things you keep putting off because you don't have time to do it. Like creating more freemiums. Um, like I created um, some of my favorite, like really simple, I call it like my old school recipe from back like three years ago when I first started coaching. Um, like some of my favorite recipes that don't require, they're not like elaborate recipes, but they have like the fortune books. Um, container counts in them, like sharing those for free, um, planning your content. If you've been putting off, like writing some of your like stories out and creating posts for those to use at a later time, or maybe scattered throughout the week, take some time to um, get planned for that. Maybe organizing your systems, like for your emails or your follow-ups, your conversation guides, that sort of thing. And then lastly with this, make sure that you're still taking care of yourself. Eat good food because that's going to make you feel good and do good and feel your best still. Drink more water than anything else, although I'd really love some wine. I can't though because I want to sell on my 21 day ultimate reset. Keep up with your workout programs, exercise, and of course, still do your personal development. All of those last one, two, three, four things most people in the country are not doing right now. So continue showing up and sharing those things because ultimately that's what people love to see about you in general. I mean, before this, that's what people love to see. And they wanna see that you can still keep up with this in stressful um, or crazy times in your life. All right, okay, so a little bit on that. All right, so tomorrow, 
10 rounds launches. So excited for coaches. So here's why it's important for you to not only purchase, but do the 10 rounds program. It, and not just 10 rounds, but like every product and program that Beachbody comes out with. It is an opportunity for you as a business owner to generate more excitement, which I swear is the most important thing to have in your business because it is the most contagious and what everybody wants more of in their life. It generates more curiosity for people like, oh, he or she is doing something new. Oh, this one looks really different than that last bar workout program that they were doing. It's an opportunity for you to have new results. Um, you know, you could easily like, plateau doing the same workout program over and over and over again. Like switch up your program now for six weeks to do this. I almost said six weeks to work for six weeks to do 10 rounds. Um, and it's gonna shock your body. And I, according to all those before and after photos, we're gonna get really amazing results doing it. Um, and then you're gonna reach a demographic and a group of people that weren't previously interested. I think Bar did that for me, like people who, I had people join that specifically wanted bar. And now I think that I'll have people join who have been like really into doing kickboxing um, or just like boxing in general and be like, oh, I haven't really been interested in this bar workout program that you've been showing for the last couple of months. But this one, okay, yeah, tell me a little bit more about this one. And it also shows, like whenever we do programs, it shows new programs, it shows that there's lots of variety in what we do, that we never get bored doing the same program over and over again. And it's just a really cool benefit of having bought. Oh my gosh, especially now when people are at home, right? I feel like more people will be looking for this more than ever. And you don't have to say, you don't have to say more people are looking to work out at home than ever. You should do this. That's a given just by sharing in your photos, in your videos, in your stories that obviously you're working out at home. Smart people are going to put that together. Um, and it's going to help you generate more sales, of course, without being salesy. I feel like my salesy thing is just the disclaimer in there. It's going to help you earn more income, which ultimately, like, if you, like we have an income producing business. If you want to earn an income doing, if you don't want to earn an income doing this, it's not really a business. Um, we're a business and you do following this plan and trying the new products and programs is part of, is part of what's going to generate more income for you because no, you can't share about it unless you're doing it. Because to me, that's icky and weird and salesy. And you're, it's like, you're one of those Instagram influencers who's, paid to talk about a product but you're not actually using it or you're like i said this on the sneak peek earlier today like you're like eva longoria talking about how you use l'oreal face moisturizer and i'm like we know she does not use that moisturizer right but she was paid a whole bunch of money to go on a commercial and say that she does we're not about that on our team um we share about the things that we're that we're doing because we've developed our own unique story behind it and how it impacted our life. Okay. So think about then how can this serve your community as you share about it, especially this week. So here are the details. So 10 rounds launches tomorrow for coaches. When you order tomorrow, you're going to unlock all of the week one workouts. So plan on starting this tomorrow. Since I'm on my ultimate reset, can't work out until after Wednesday. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be ordering it tomorrow, but I'm going to be starting my first workout on Thursday. Um, and then a new week of workouts is going to be added every week. For customers, um, 10 rounds launches on April 6th, and that's when they can access their first week of workouts and so on. There's going to be a 50% off accessory bundle or 50% off VIP early access digital only for two groups of people. Any coach, anyone who signed up as a coach, including discount coach, who purchased a challenge pack between, oh, I have a typo, between March 1st and March 15th. Is my, am I still here? Sharing your screen, so I shared it. Do what? You weren't sharing the screen, so I just shared it. I wasn't? No. Ugh. But I got you. I'm so the whole time. I'm like, I couldn't see any because I was, my screen was like all big. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. So 
uh, customers who purchase a, oh, here's my typo. Coaches who purchase a challenge pack between March 1st and March 15th will be emailed that 50% off promo code to use on that. So they'll get that promo code tomorrow in their email. And that's for people who, coaches who purchased any challenge pack between March 1st and March 15th. And then customers who purchased a challenge pack between March 1st and March 31st will be emailed a promo code on March 6th. So I had customers sign up this week um, who, and I'll even have somebody that signs up tomorrow and they're going to order a bar blend challenge pack and they're just signing up as a customer. Then on April 6th, they're going to get that promo code to use for 50% um, off 10, round, 10 rounds. Yeah, once it launches for them. All right. And then, Jen, will you click on that link for me? Here is the 10 rounds um, Google folder, which I shared in the um, description for or the call, and I'll post the link um, in the chat here in a minute, too. So this link has, this Google folder has all of the challenge pack and completion pack options in it, including I just uploaded one for Canada as well. Um, and then we're gonna go over all those in a second. And then there's also all the folder um, or all of the transformation photos that were in the back of it, office that are in this folder for you to use as well. Thank you, Vanna White. Okay, next slide. All right, here are the, um, here are the options for new Beachbody On Demand members. So if your Beachbody On Demand subscription is up within the next three months, if it, if it expires um, this month, April or May, maybe even June, this is the most cost-effective way for you to get 10 rounds. I do this every December, whenever, whatever, what was the most recent program? Bar. So when Bar um, was coming out, I canceled my Beachbody On Demand. And then once, and then I upgraded to the challenge pack. And you just log into your account on your teambeachbody.com account, log into your orders, and then you can cancel and then immediately buy this and you'll get immediate access to it. So here are the different options. Just like when Bar Blend was on promo, um, these are all $20 off right now, but I really love that the resistance loops come with these challenge packs because you'll need that. So it's just our normal challenge pack, same as the Bar Blend ones, um, Shakeology um, or Performance Line uh, on the, oh, that's on, okay, yeah. For the 160 um, with a year of Beach Body on Demand, perform, uh, resistance loops and a shaker cup. And then the deluxe pack has all of that, but it has both Shakeology and Performance Line. And then the mega, the mega Challenge Pack has all of those same things, plus Hydrate, plus um, the three day refresh and a box of beach bar. So that's an insane value. And then if you already like I, it does not make sense for me to cancel my beach body on demand right now. So I will be ordering the deluxe challenge pack. Um, that's what I always get because you can never have too much energize in your life. Right. Um, and then I, and then I canceled, if you haven't already cancel your Shakeology for the month. I already did that and I'll order this. All right, and next slide. And then um, the, there's a big graphic that's in that Google Drive folder that has all three of these slides all in one. And that's what you can send to people. This is at the bottom of that page. It has a nutrition program add-ons. The base kit materials for both To Be Mindset and Ultimate Fortune Fix are $36 for coaches, $48 for customers. And then they have the, the option of the digital access only. Um, but I've been setting everyone up with the base kit because it comes with the cookbooks, the daily log books, the water bottle, the tracker, all that stuff. And then the add-ons, the most popular add-ons are on there also. Okay, next slide. And we're about to kick it over to Jen in just a second. Um, but here's like your step for actually launching um, the program. First thing you have to do is buy it yourself. Um, be sure that you order it through your account that's linked to your bod. This is not a spouse account order. It needs to be in your own primary account with your Beachbody On Demand login. 
If you're a lifetime two star or above, make sure that you purchase in your prime. Oh, is it launched already? Awesome. Um, make sure that you purchase it in your primary business center and then request that the volume be transferred to your second business center. Yeah, be sure that you purchase it in your first because that's where you in and have to be. Then after you buy it and you get on board with doing the program, then you share about it with your existing coaches and customers. Always use that group of people to start promoting things to first because they're already hooked. They're already interested. They're your most like warm market. The people who are like, Ooh, give me more. I'm so excited for the next program. Um, they're your most loyal customers. Keep them up to date on everything first. Um, same thing with your teams. Um, then start sharing your journey with the program on social media and keep talking about it every day. I know it's so easy to feel like, man, I was so excited. I, I shared about it for three days straight or even just one day, one day, and no one had any interest at all. Like just keep going, keep on sharing, keep talking about it, keep in, keep inviting to people, keep following up. Keep sharing about it with your coach at your current customers. Like people, that makes people pay attention. They'll start to watch. And then when they start to see how much they need in their life, they'll join you too. But just because it's not working right away or getting you results that you want right away with your um, prospects doesn't mean that what you're doing isn't working. It just might mean that you haven't been involved. All right, sending it over to Jen. Okay, so thank you, Rachel, for outlining it all. It should be very, very clear. And Beachbody also just sent out a marketing tools email today. So read that if you still have um, those FAQ type questions. Now, let's get hype. Yes, this is a very weird time. But if you, I know for me, I'm excited to start this new program. Like I really am. For me personally, I know what these programs do for me. It makes me feel good. And be like Rachel said, be that light. So hype it up tonight. After you get off this call, I would even, you know, maybe it's like right before bed, like having a countdown to it of like, you know, and just stating the obvious, like, you know, through everything, I'm excited to focus on this right now and just be excited. It's not going to make you people think weirdly if you are just excited for your own self. Um, what are your feelings? Are you nervous? You're kind of curious about it. You don't know what to expect. Just kind of share that. Um, and then tomorrow morning, I always love on launches, you know, when you're showing that you're purchasing it, like you are doing the things because I think it tells people what's so great about our company and our business is that we're just not sales reps that are selling random ass like iPhone cases or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we are living it. And so by showing that you wake up early and you're purchasing it or tonight, I guess someone said it's live, you know, you're up purchasing it. It's that excitement and kind of create it adds to creating that FOMO of just like, this is what I'm doing now. I'm, I'm going to jump in it. Um, add music onto your Instagram story with this countdown, whether you do kind of like on um, this one, I specifically like tomorrow morning, I'll just be honest. I'm going to do like a slide in on the morning with a countdown and a song of like, I'm excited for this. Um, wear a cute, fun outfit. Maybe, you know, like do something just a little bit out of the normal. Like maybe it's a cute headband or a bright color top um, or just whatever. Something that gives you that like boxing fierceness, like whatever style you feel like that is. But I always like to kind of blend with the theme of the program and just have fun with it. Like you really can't do it wrong, but the more intel and the more behind the scenes you give people, it kind of normalizes it. And people are like, oh, like that's really simple. You know, being able to say I purchased it and I'm starting it right now immediately is very cool. Then you want to emphasize what makes this program different. And I personally, like I talk to girls all the time. I, my nail lady, actually, she just canceled her cycle studio membership because she was like i'm just tired of it like i don't want to do that anymore like we just kept doing the same thing and i was like i get it so really emphasizing it's different and you're not going to fall in love with every program have i loved every single beach body program no but have i done them yes shift shop is a prime example and i'm not trying to push it down because there's people that like it it was not my cup of tea it just wasn't but did i do it hell to the yeah i was shuffling and tapping those little markers and I went after it. 
um, because there was people who love athletic conditioning and they were so excited to see me doing a program like that. So who knows? So I, if you're, if you're saying, I just don't know what's for me, obviously what's a beauty, what's beautiful about this business, it's, it's your business, but I definitely recommend going through it because you can surprise yourself. So emphasize what's different. Explain to people it's boxing, cardio with weight training. Every workout ends with core. People love core work. They love to know their core is getting worked specifically. Like they, it's like a love hate, right? You know, like no one like loves like, oh, just let me get in some crunches, but everyone loves the idea of working their core. So emphasize that that's going to happen because Joel, he's got us. He's going to get us ripped. Okay. Um, it's 10 rounds, three minutes. When I did the sample, it went by so fast and I was dripping sweat. I loved that quick interval. So really emphasize it. And then again, emphasizing the bot has, has it. So really, really emphasize. Here are some clips I, I personally did. When you are recording yourself with this workout, I highly recommend making sure the background it's clear. Can they see you? Can they see you doing the moves? How, like in here, there's a ring light. And in the left picture, I have a ring light to light up that room. On the right, I am in front of a window. Again, bright light, you can see my face, you can see the real sweat dripping down, right? And I'm telling people, send me a fire emoji to get this free workout. So you're showing them little snippets. I know for me, I showed half the rounds just to give people kind of an idea and then um, giving them, giving your honest thoughts. Like I tell people, like I didn't know what to expect. Honestly, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. And I like it a lot. <laughs> um, and I think also being clear, they break it down super slow and then speed it up for people that are like, oh gosh, I could never do what you do, right? Okay. And last thing, because my I'm here to talk to you about social media, not to be scared to share about it. And how do you how are you effective with a launch? Anytime we get a new program, think of it as this is your time to write a whole new story for people to follow along with. This is a new chapter of your journey. Um, and so I want you to have this test group mentality. You're testing it out. And I want you to set a date of when your April group is gonna start. Because right now you're, you're in test phase and telling your followers, your friends and your family, like I'm testing this out, I'm going all in. I'm excited because I've been needing to switch it up. And honestly, I feel like a total badass, like doing all these punches, like with all this stress and everything happening. It feels good to fucking punch the air. It does. It really does. Um, sharing your goals, like specifically for me, like I'm excited to see my back and my arms get toned from this um, in just this different way I'm working my body. I don't know about y'all, but after the sample workout, my back was on fire. Like it was working things I didn't even know that was back there. Um, so to talk about that document every single day. Again, act like you're in your own little test group this whole week and next week um, before your official launch for your April group where you're getting people signed up because they're watching you. If people haven't already gotten the simple workout and are signing up tomorrow, they're watching you exclusively. So commit to going all in on it and telling people your thoughts before, during, and after. Um, and then ask people to follow along with you. So. For example, I'm just thinking of a post right now for tomorrow that I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a workout pick, kind of similar to this, very clear, bright, sweaty, happy. Um, and I'm gonna say something like, I'm starting this new program, I'm excited, I'm gonna share why I'm excited, I'm gonna talk about the goals of why, um, and I'm gonna tell like, people, like, I'm gonna be documenting this every single day for the next eight weeks. Follow along with me. If you're not already following me on Instagram, hop over to my IG stories. I'm here for it. I hope you're come along with me. Um, you know, tell people to follow along. That, so people feel like they're a part of it. People love that. Um, I know I like to follow along when people say they have stuff coming up. It's just is really cool. So again, we've talked about this with photo editing, just really making sure. Um, and if you don't, if you like for me, that is just behind a window. Like it was sunny. And then I used a preset in Lightroom to filter um, and then, um, or get a ring light. You know, it, it really is a good investment for getting those clear shots of you working out and for your pictures. I, I really do believe it makes a difference. Um, okay, that's it for um, me. 
here's some promotional um, uh, materials. Let's see any questions because I know it's kind of over. That yeah, and if y'all have, um, you can add, I'll, I meant to put a folder in, I'll put a folder in that um, Google Drive. For those of y'all who have made 10 rounds, um, like Instagram story stuff, or you create something, I'll put a folder in there and if you could just drop it in there. Um, if you're cool with everyone else on the team using it, that would be awesome. I had somebody say, a coach say to me um, this weekend, like, I'm really like, I don't know how to do any of this because people are worried that they're not getting paid or like people don't have money. And it was very like focused on the people who are freaking out about COVID-19 and everything that's going on. But let me just tell you, since... Thursday, when things started to get kind of crazy, I've had people reach out to me to sign up with Challenge Track. I had a nurse today that follows me on Instagram that was like, hey, I need to do something. I am so stressed out right now. And she works in the hospital. And she's like, more than ever, I've got to take control of my health right now. Like, sign me up for your next group. And she's signing up tomorrow. I'm like, Okay, so there are still people out there who like really do need what we have to offer. If you see somebody who is ranting on your social media about how angry they are and upset they are about the virus and, and everything that's going on, don't invite or follow up with them. Like stay away from that because that's not going to be a good fit for them at this time. But don't be fearful that there are people who aren't going to want to join you. There absolutely are. And I had a couple of people um, who did, who reached out to me this weekend who did, uh, or who were doing Orange Theory. And they don't want to go into the studio right now. One of them is actually considered high risk because she has her respiratory issues. Um, so she's not going to go work out. She's like, hey, send me the prices for um, your workouts. Um, and so I sent her, because she straight up said, send me the prices, I straight up sent her the prices, I sent her the PDF, I said, here's the, um, the options that, that come with like Shakeology and or Energize and Recover, and here are also the options, 99 for a year, um, 60 for six months, and $40 for three months. And she was like, cool, um, I'm, sign me up for the three months. Okay, give me your email and done. All right, so that was like a good way for her to, maybe it'll lead to something more later, I don't know, but it was a way for us to serve pe the people who already love um, to work out. And I know we all have access to those free workouts. And I'll be honest with y'all, um, I was a negative Nancy last week, I would say. I literally reached out to uh, Rachel, Raquel, Jessica, Laura, and I was just like, I'm struggling. So if you have been struggling this last week with inviting and sending messages and just worried of like what people are going to think, that was me. I straight up was like, I don't know what to say to people. And Rachel gave me the best pep talk, kind of just what she said of, you know, stay, like if you see someone, you know, that is like fussing and maybe super negative, like don't go there. But again, this could just be the opportunity, like she, what she said is, you know, think about the long game. So yeah, maybe you're not going to sling 10 challenge packs today or tomorrow, but you have the opportunity to give possibly a lot of people that 14 day trial right now while they can't go to work or they're worried about being laid off. Um, and so understanding the power of premiums right now, and it got me into this such excitement, positivity mode of like, wow. First of all, we're so blessed to have something that is so steady. And I mean, this community right now, there is 45 of us on a Sunday night, all in a positive mindset here for each other. Like it gives me chills. And so don't worry about last week. Maybe you didn't send any messages out because you were like me, like, holy F, I don't know what to say. I feel icky. Um, but instead, I recommend sending, this is the simple message I've been sending out is if it's someone I haven't messaged in, like ever about it, it's like, hey, I'm sorry, I haven't reached out to you sooner. You know, thanks for the love on my profile. Uh, right now, I don't know, like I mentioned on my story, I'm offering 
free workouts, premiums, whatever. I said, I don't know if you saw my story, but I'm offering free trial to my workout and discounted prices on programs right now um, because 10 rounds is $10 or $20 off starting Monday. Like, I don't know. I'm not sure if you're even interested or thinking about that right now, but if you were, I'd hate to not reach out to you and give you this. Um, you know, something on those, it felt like a really good, sincere message for me to send. And I got such a positive response back that it fired me up. Um, so as you saw in my examples, tomorrow do your workout and push that free workout and say, hey, you know, even if you just do this, I, what I said on my story, I think was like, even if you just do this workout today or tomorrow and you just do it, you know, whatever, that's fine. Or what if you love it? And this is something that can be totally your time and your escape kind of thing. Um, so I want you guys to leave this call feeling excited, not only for our program coming out, which is awesome because no other company has at home, like boxing fitness with Joel, who is an awesome instructor. Um, not only that, but also knowing that we have these freemiums that we can give to people to help them um, and think about the long game. So even if you're just sending out a lot of free workouts right now, that's okay. Awesome. I love that invite that you're sending. Okay. Um, all right. Success club recognition for people. So look at how many people are on the board so far this month. That's so awesome. Um, all right. I have 11 points and also locked in for success club is Jordan with eight. Jackie is six point. Genevieve with six. Elisa, Elisa, I hope it's bad. Um, with six and Kathleen with six points as well. And then just one person away from success club is Kristen. Uh, Robert, Christina, Jessica, and Laura, and then on the board, having helped one person so far this month, is Healy, Allison, Shauna, Jennifer, Crystal, Brittany, Hannah, Christy, Abby, Tori, Megan, Lori, Stephanie, Addie, Rochelle, and Ashley. And for rank advances, we had two rank advances on our team this week. Dara? Dara? Dara. Yeah. Dara, awesome. And Alyssa, Alyssa? I don't know. Okay. Congrats, ladies. That's so awesome. Super excited for everything that's going on this week. I can't wait to see. You know, so many of y'all have been sharing really great things. Oh, I meant to give Taylor Heaton a shout out. She's been doing an awesome job of sharing like really great tips on like how to handle being at home with your family this week and keeping it all like super positive and helpful. Um, so can't wait to see what everyone shares this week and so excited to start 10 rounds with y'all. I can't wait to see your workout on the story tomorrow and I'm so jealous, but I promise you that I'm ordering my pack tomorrow. All right. I'll post, uh, or we'll post the link to the recording, um, once it gets uploaded and everything probably tomorrow. And then I'll also share the slides from this in the event page on team VIP family under events. All right, y'all. Love you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with us tonight and we'll see you on the social.